Instead of bringing up a comedian, we're going to present, or well, Brain Fart Theater is going to present a sketch entitled uh, The Right of the Laughing Asshole. That's Sorry right. about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Sam Hertz, where is Sam Hertz? Yeah, get up here. We're doing the thing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Schmidt. Give it up for him. Mike Schmidt! Yeah. Um, I, I am just reading what is written here. Do not give it up yep. for me. Your sisters already have. <laughs> All right. Oh. This is the piece by these two entitled A Snow Fort in My Anus Cave. Now I want you to all close your eyes. Just close your eyes. I'm not going to do anything to you. There's just one of me. There's like 52 of you. I can't rape you all. Just close your fucking eyes. All right. Now imagine you're watching Discovery Channel. It's just come back from commercial break. You've smoked a lot of pot. It's like one of those Earth shows. And scene. This evening, we proudly present the reenactment of an ancient rite of passage practiced by the Hodag, a terrible and savage race of hill people from Baraboo, Wisconsin, known primarily for their love of Cheetos and methamphetamines. <laughs> Due to the rugged terms of their arrangement, the Hodag people communicate exclusively by m imitating the sounds of farts, <laughs> urination, and childbirth. Ah! To this end, I will be translating the original Hodag into English for your better understanding. The sacred rite we are about to observe is known among anthropologists as the snow enema, or more traditionally, the right of the laughing asshole. We turn now to two Hodag men about to perform the issue. Greetings, Seymour. Hello, Philbert. Ah! How was your poop? It was pleasantly consistent and surprisingly free of gas. The bran and water diet you recommended has been very effective. And your morning shower urination? Unsuperfluous and satisfactory. Ah! Excellent. Shall we? Oh, indeed. Must I drop my trousers? Yes, you must. Stage directions. Ad-lib response line for Philbert as he drops his trousers. I'm saying that because he has not dropped his trousers and needs to have done that by this point. Thank you. Now on your knees. Hey, your underwear are really funny. <laughs> okay, I gotta stop. That, those are some underpants. <laughs> those, those are not a normal person's underpants. You've been to jail. Haven't you? Okay. Moving on. Ad lib response for Philbert as he gets on his knees. <laughs> and go forward on all four man paws like husky dog. Ad lib response for Philbert as he gets down on all fours. Translation. As I put on these rubber gloves in a sensual fashion, remember that the snow enema is an ancient tradition among our people who have reached the age of 23. I have passed this age-old rite with my own colon, and now you must learn it by my hand. <laughs> I relish this occasion to feel your icy hand build a snow fort in my anus cave and to feel the rip tide of snow melt as it pulses and variates with the will of God rearward through my entrails. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, I thought you guys would have snow. I thought you were going to actually do it to me. Oh. <laughs> See, 
Uh, okay, I thought this was a trick where you would finger him in the ass in front of everyone. Okay. I'm sorry to disappoint. I wouldn't have agreed to do it if I didn't think someone was going to lose their dignity. I feel, I feel violated because no one was violated. Stephanie, where are you? She's still having a smoke. Oh, so. Stephanie's putting out right now. So. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your next comedian coming to the stage, Mr. David 